2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the John Deere Classic. Today's coverage is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and out on the course following our feature group is the delightful Henny Koyak. Hello, Henny. Hi, Luke. I'm happy to be out here covering our feature group's play this week. We're in for a very entertaining time as there seems to be a rivalry starting between these two players. Well, it will be interesting to keep an eye on this one right throughout this event. The totally awesome Tony Fina. Fina, absolute legend. Uh, let's club up as always. Nineteen K an hour wind is probably gonna drag it in that bunker. Let's aim at these people. Well done. Second shot here on the first. Right, we want this to have a look at the green first. It's feeding down towards the hole. Turn it for me. That was wonderfully done. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Getting I'd like to say it's going to go down, but Making I've missed them the before. first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Oh, look, Jason He's Daisy. currently tied for eighth. Legend. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? You want to cut the corner as much as possible to shorten your second shot on this par five. Should you do that, a very straightforward second shot will set up birdies and eagles all day long. Find the trouble off the tee and you'll find trouble on the rest of the hole. Uh -oh. Don't fool yourself. Well, we're not in the, the second hole of TPC Deer Unrich, really gettable for the players. Most players will go for this green into Luke. Knock it on, can easily make birdie, maybe an eagle. Get a little careless, missing to the left or the right from the green. Pars and bogeys are had as well. Let's come back over this way. Allow for that. Opting for the five iron. Oh, it's kicked it into the bunker anyway. And the player's left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. what I was trying to avoid. Damn it. He just wanted to swing his life away at that if we could get a nice Let's take a look at what it. Tony Finau's up to. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. Will he be able to get out of this one? This reminds me of my breakfast. Nice fried egg. Wow, what a save. And this is why you gotta keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. And here we are with their four. All right, we need to hold this to keep moving forward. So let's go probably up here with the way that's going from left to right. Let's go a little bit further. I'd rather keep it up than let it roll down. I'll take a par. Ah, uh, that's a touch of class. Judging it beautifully. 
Yeah, good job. Nice par. Take a par Currently save there. One under for the tournament. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Par three, 183 yards up the hill. Blind tee shot. The big miss here is short right in that deep bunker. Should you find that bunker, you're also going to find yourself making bogey or worse. Anywhere on the green is a good shot. Looks to be going with the six iron. Oh, the wind's got that way more than I would have expected. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Wind is absolutely swirling in this yeah. part of the golf course. Settle, 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 settle. Six feet remaining to the cup. This one to save par. Perfect. Yeah, we'll take that. Lost an opportunity on that second hole. We have only par five in the front nine. Currently one under for the day. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Par four, 448 yards, sweeping dog leg left to right, big tree in the middle, miss that, and you've got a simple second shot into a sliver of a green. Getting much out of that with a wind blowing straight in our face. Well, well played. Playing from around 160 yards. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. <laughs> Looks to have opted for the eight iron. They've decided to club up. Dang. Yeah, nicely played. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. Even for the day. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Oh, standing ovation after that shot. Oh, you love to see those shots land. What a play. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. Looks aim just a touch off the cock. That line was looking good, wasn't it? That'll sting a bit. Just a four-footer remaining. Nice little putt to hold that one. There's nothing but fours on the front line. It's crazy. Now three strokes back after that hole. Stanley's got another one. Higgins has got another one. Hole. Par four. This fairway chases away from the players down the hill. So tee shots will run forever, setting up a second shot that is very simple and straightforward. Oh, 
could not be uh -oh. more perfect. Just land. Well, it's gonna just roll off the end. That makes its way to the first cut. I didn't yeah, even mean to ooh, hit that. No, this one's left. I didn't even mean to that hit that. That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. Come out of the rough, you're just as control gets spot. off. Very bad spot to be. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Whoa, a good okay. line. This one's for bogey. Damn, 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 damn. And now over to Tony Finau. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Trying to get to one under here with this putt. That was a gallant attempt. It's time to check on the leaderboard. I'm back to The leader even. now has a one stroke advantage. So he's four up on me. Setting up now on a par four. Par four measures just 361 yards, but only the long players will try and drive this green. The others lay it up with an iron, wedge it on, hit it close, and make your birdie. Don't want to get caught in them trees at all. Henny, that ball seems to be sitting down. Is it bad? Not the best tee shot, but they got lucky with this lie. Probably about there. How oh close my. was that to going in the hole? God. Great shot. Couldn't have just clipped the flag oh, golf clip. It. That's a beauty. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. Oh, that's great. It just How did the that hole. not drop as well? This putt is from 14 feet. If I was playing that in real life, I would give that away. Oh, just missed. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And there it is. So no movement there. The player remains at even par. Need to start climbing that. This hole board. is a par three. Par three down the hill. It seemingly plays short, but I can promise you it doesn't.
looks to be going with a hybrid here. Was the longest part. It's probably not even my longest part. Good it's shot like there. Twelve point something. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. They're a long way from the hole here. Work to be done. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Oosh. My okay. God, that was a good Steady attempt. Now. That was a no, really good bad. attempt. And this putt coming up for his par. The putt drops, and we're moving on. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Par four, every single shot plays uphill. Make sure to take plenty of club. What a gargantuan tee shot. Should be safe there. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. From around 120 yards here. Coming in for an eagle. This one's going right at the pin here. Oh, right by the hole. This is what you get when you poke the golfing tour bear. Let's get back to it, shall we? And he's down there. I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. And choosing the eight iron here. We need this one to bounce right. That's just inside the range. This would be a good putt to make to yes. move inside the top 20 on the leaderboard. Not a whole lot in it. Or uphill. Oh, oh so close. Come on. This putt's about four feet from the hole. It's got a chance. Trailing by four strokes. Oh, I can't seem to break the cycle here. What's going on? Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Par four, 485 yards. The toughest hole on the golf course. Make sure you find the fairway and get your second shot somewhere around the green to give yourself the best chance of making four. Nicely done. Playing from around 210 yards here. Next shot straight back into the teeth of the wind. Going with the five wood. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. God damn it. That's inside the house of opportunity. Chance to get one under the card with this putt. They're going to walk this one in. Nice. Oh, that's a sensational putt to make. And what about the glimpse they just gave their rival? Come and catch me now. 
Ooh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. What an amazing part from way out. Some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard. Finally moving up. <coughs> Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Par five, 581 yards. Most players will be laying up for their second shots as a large pond on the right-hand side of the green will collect your golf ball if you hit a wayward one going forward in two. That one's heading down Broadway. Second shot here at the 10th. This is worrisome. This is where we want it to land, is like here. Okay, that's just going to travel miles too long. God Getting ready to play it. their third. Four shots behind our leader. close was that to going down five feet coming up to the cup this is their look at birdie well look who's getting on a roll now that's back-to-back -back birdies and he dances his way into the top 10 after that delightful shot and now over to Tony Finau he's currently trailing his rival let's see what happens here at the long part Ouch, that hurts. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Well now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. Eight holes to get six on six. Yeah, maybe feeling under. buoyed with confidence after that birdie. There's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Par four, 428 yard, tree line hole, difficult driving hole all the way around, but should you find the fairway, the second shot on a little plateau just above the fairway is very basic. Stay on the fairway. Penny, what does that line look like? No, oh, this is just unfortunate. So close to the fairway, but sitting really down. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Come on. My God. Damn. Just want one of them to go in. I wish I could play like this myself. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. This putt coming up is for birdie. No, oh, that's a ripper. And that will take him to three under. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Got to like it. 
Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Par three plays 208 yards from the back. In saying that, this is a good birdie opportunity as the green is massive in size. Opting for the five wood. Jesus, way back there. <coughs> Because this is going to roll, roll, roll off the green. Maybe not off the green, but it may as well be. Look how far and away And he's safely on the green with that shot. Outside chance for birdie here, Luke. Well, this would be a good putt to make to move into the top five. have the right stuff there putting for par let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to now, who'd have thought we'd see this he is behind his rival can he do the catching up that's necessary wow that was handy holding out from there and a chip in Luke just what the doctor ordered and I saw well, that's gonna have threes. some impact on the scoreboard let's take a look I don't think I've shot that many of them under par. Usually they're on par. Welcome to the tee of a par four. Par four, back up the hill, 418 yards, the widest fairway on the golf course. Avoid all those bunkers, second shot up the hill to a narrow green that slopes off on both sides. Anthony, what's he looking at here? The wind is at their back on this one. Okay, I thought the wind was going to carry that a lot further. Like right, that, didn't it? What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Setting up this putt 21 feet from the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Dang it. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. the par and there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole except Xander Shoffley has just cranked it through to six under time to face a par four par four 357 yards almost every player in the field will be giving it a whirl knock it on and you could be rewarded with an eagle two This one heading into the sand. Oh my God, is it really? Well, it's a chance for a good shot here from the fairway bunker. I thought I was playing that safe as.
really thought I was playing that safe as with that driver. Handy effort, that one. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. It's a lovely speed on that part. So close to the hole. A par putt on the table. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Well played. What a play from the rough. Was hoping to get on the green and does one better. Xander Shoffley. Currently on oh top of this god, one. Oh my god, he's climbing like crazy. And he's only one hole ahead of me too, so... That's not good. The finish at TPC Deer Run is full of birdie opportunities and some low scoring to be had, Rich. This 14th hole is certainly part of that lineup. Par 4, 456 in length from the back tee. Must find the fairway off the tee shot to have any hope of finding the green in two. Large trees line not. the right and left hand side of the fairway. It's not, uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, he's eyeing up around 160 here. Yeah, this is lovely. Stop, 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 stop. Sitting at three under par in a share of seventh. You're kidding me. Did he hold that? And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. Yeah, Seve would be envious of this one. What a chip in. And now over to Tony Fina. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. This one is chewing fiber. Oh, that was so close to going in. And a sight we used to seeing a lot, Xander Shoffley in top spot. off here on the 16th hole par three only plays 153 but a tricky little green to say the least don't let the beauty of the river to your left swallow you in this is a tough but fun little par three Going with the eight iron here. Let's finish with a flurry. It'd be nice to make a move up the leaderboard. Oh, that was pure. And this putt to move into a tie for third place. Tracking. It didn't need to be that hard Just either because it's downhill. Fall. about eight feet left to the hole this for par that's half a chance of being hold this one 
Well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice power putt. There's no hope and of getting a win Zander now. Shoffley in first place. No hope of getting a win now. Ting off here on the 17th hole. Players looking for a fast finish on the par five, 550 yards. Second shot does play up the hill, but there's plenty of room to miss your second shot around this green. Must make birdie for the players in the field. That should find the fairway. Only just. Gaddy. And this is a mighty performance. Look at the player creeping up the leaderboard at just the right time. We expected to see someone come out of the pack to contend for this title. This player is doing just that. Oh, no. Close to the surface here in the green side rough. Trying to get to five under with this putt. He was on a good line. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Oh no, you're kidding. That's Putting now for a bogey. And right, down it goes. It. I didn't think that five foot putt was going to miss. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, oh, he just hold it. Make your par. What an amazing play out of the greenside bunker. Up and in the hole. Nicely done. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. If you want to win a TPC deer run, you've got to successfully navigate this challenging final hole. Hard to describe the difficulty of this tee shot unless you've actually been here. Par four, 463 yards. Miss the fairway bunker down the right hand side, and you've got a clear shot to a very narrow green surrounded by water on the left hand side. Uh oh, that's the tree. That was almost stuffed. Good shot there, Beamer. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Currently four shots off the pace. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side. Well, that's well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. And this putt for a final score of 67. Well, that's cranking along. Can we get it? This is a good yep. chance. Nice. And that will do it for him at this event. Rich, obviously close but no cigar, but you've just got to hand it to this player for making that final round charge. It was impressive. From the very opening tee shot, this player was focusing on making birdies early and often. Unfortunately, not able to make enough today to get the victory. Still a lot of fun to watch.
struggle well, on behalf bus. of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HP Studios. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Struggle bus on that.